The Dominicans are about to conclude their jubilee, commemorating the 800th anniversary of its foundation. The finishing touch will be a mass in the Basilica of St. John Lateran with Pope Francis. They are very excited about their meeting with the Pope and for having the opportunity to celebrate the centenary anniversary with him. For us it is very significant because the Pope has accepted the invitation to preside at this Eucharistic celebration at the end of our Jubilee. For us to ask the Pope for his blessing is almost repeating what St. Dominic did 800 years ago with Pope Honorius. It was in fact 800 years ago in 1216 when Pope Honorius III approved the Order of Preachers. For the Dominicans, their Jubilee year, which began on November 7, 2016, is unbeatable. They say it has also been an important time for reflection. It's been a nice year for us and we have celebrated ourselves and our own history. But because it's the Order of Preachers and our primary task is to, to be at the service of the Church and the preaching of the Gospel, uh, that, that question has been at the forefront of our minds as well. So not just to celebrate the past and the wonderful people of the past, but to say, you know, what are the things we need to think about as challenges for the preaching of the gospel. In order to celebrate, about 400 members of the Dominican family will gather in Rome. In addition to attending Mass with the Pope, they will hold a conference on their mission as an order. In their meeting, they will try to respond to the challenges present for an order with 800 years of history in today's world. It seems very important to me to know the digital cultures, the scientific and traditional culture. Take time to explore it. Listen, just as Jesus did. The congregation is present on five continents and has more than 6,000 members. Now their biggest challenge is to follow in the footsteps of St. Dominic Guzman in the current world.